The Morning Show, brought to you by Hilton. Put a little back what life takes out with over 500 hotels and 80 countries to choose from. Visit Hilton.com now. Welcome to Laz's Lounge. <laughs> Bartending whiz Naren Young has been in the business of making cocktails for almost 16 years now. The award-winning mixologist, as he's known, has travelled the world with his art and uh, reports on the industry as a freelance journalist, not only making cocktails, um, but doing it by the beach right there on the beach. Wow. Good pour of cachaça. Cachaça. And it tastes about 100% better than the fact that we're sitting on level on beach drinking it. <laughs> It sure does. Naren's passion led him to New York three years ago, where he is now heads up one of the Big Apple's most exclusive bars. Welcome to you, Naren. He's dropped in for a special guest appearance at Larry's Bar this morning. G'day. What are you going to be making for Thanks us today? Thanks for having me here. Thanks for having your bar, Larry. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Sorry about the security at the front door. <laughs> that's all right. You looked a bit sus. They asked me if I was a member, but they let me in anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, we're going to make a, uh, a bowl of punch. You know, it's uh, it's a one of the oldest styles of drink. There's something that's just super easy. You know, anyone can make it at home. And I think if you're you're home entertaining, you don't want to be sitting in the kitchen shaking up cocktails and stuff. So you can put a big punt, you know, a bowl of punch down on the now, table. Now Adam did this for Eve. This is can, this is one of the oldest can, cocktails around, right? It is. You know, like 200 years before the word cocktail was even a word, there was punch. punch you know, in, uh, was created over in India, and that's uh, of what all we places. Do. We're, we're all great cocktails. <laughs> that's right. The cocktail mecca of the world. <laughs> so we are. Uh, we have some sugar in there. We need to get some sort of sweetness. Uh, we're going to add some citrus. We're going to add some lime. Now, if you want to get more juice out of these, you can soak them in some warm water and give them a. Well, that's a good tip. Give them a, give them a bit of a roll. Right. So we just need to get a nice bit of balance between the sweet and sour here. So we're just going to make this into like a little bit of a, uh, well, a bit of a paste, I guess. So when you could say uh, a punch, I'm thinking non-alcoholic, but this is like I'm looking at that list of ingredients: rum, vodka, contro, white wine. There is a, there is a bit of stuff in there, you know, but it's, uh, it certainly doesn't taste that alcoholic or that strong. Okay. You know, now you call it punch. We've got sangria. Is that one in the same? They're almost sort of kind of interchangeable words, I guess. You know, the okay. idea of this big kind of communal bowl of. Um, of alcohol, something that people can serve themselves, you know. Or swim in. That's right. So we are. Uh, now, Kylie, Kylie came across to the bar here and looked at all these ingredients and said, too hard, but it's actually not, is it? It's, it's sort of rack it and stack it. Nah, it's it super in. easy, you know. Yeah. And I, I like the kind of the Jamie Oliver approach to making things. You know, let's just whack a bit of this in there and See a bit of that in there. Yeah. So the, the ingredients I'm giving you today, I'm not going to measure them, you know, and you can just, people can adjust it to their tastes. All right. You know, so, we've got so sugar, lime juice. Now you're adding. We've got some vodka. Yeah. Now we can't. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> That's now, a lot of vodka. It does look a lot, but you've got to remember this could serve like 30 or 40 people for four or five hours. You know, or two. So, yeah. <laughs> and now you're adding. This is white rum. Yeah. And like yeah. many punches or sangrias, it's very versatile. So you could use tequila, gin, whatever you have in your in Yeah, your, so, in your so far we've got home. the half a bottle of vodka, half a bottle of rum. So we're right to drive home at this point. What else? <laughs> That's right. Just let us know when it gets alcoholic. That's this right. This is like aftershave. This, this, is a, this is a wonderful new product called Saint Germain. It's an elderflower liqueur. If you have a little smell of that. Yeah, I've heard of this. Ooh. It's really floral from yeah. France. Mm. And it's, uh, it's in stores now. Uh, it's going to be available uh, in, the, in the coming months. And it's uh, taken America by storm. It's a really amazing, really floral. Uh, elegant right. kind of products, and you look at the bottle; it's just gorgeous. Yeah. What it's if you haven't got all these in, all these liqueurs though? What? Can well, you... that's the thing. I mean, something like this you could use Cointreau or tequila, any... or yeah, totally. I mean, if you want to use a liqueur, just something that's kind of a little bit sweet, you know, just to get a little bit of sweetness to it. Because yes. that's the secret, isn't it? If you've got sour, you've got to have sweet as well. Absolutely, you need something that's going to balance these drinks out. So, as with all the good singers, we need some white wine. That's a oh. whole bottle. Yeah, okay. why not? Okay, so let's get. We need there. to put something healthy in there. What about some fruit? Some healthy. <laughs> let's get some apple juice. All right, there yeah, we right. go. <laughs> just. <laughs> Okay. Because that, you've got 100 percent alcohol in it. Like we're gonna start filling it up with something. That's right. Yeah. Let's, let's get some apple juice in there. Yeah. Before we kill our guests. Yeah, that's at right. The barbecue. Yeah. Now we just need to add a little bit of spritz to it, so we're just gonna add some soda water. Okay. And before you drink it, of course, um, that's strong enough that you can drop your old jewellery in to clean that up. That's exactly right. <laughs> right. Good eye. Hey, this is uh, this looks good. See, if I had friends around, I'd just serve them one of those bowls each. <laughs> with a straw. Can I say I love this Kokomo soundtrack we've got in the it's background great. too? Yeah, that's always playing here at Larry's Bar. It's the only song we use. Hey, if you work at this fancy pants restaurant and a you know, bar in right. New York, who, who's the most famous person you've ever served? Uh, probably uh, David Beckham. David Beckham. What did he order from you? Uh, it's fun water. water. <laughs> Are you kidding? No. Oh, that's actually quite refreshing. A well, footballer who goes in and orders water. Yeah, although I made Cameron I like Diaz it. a nice tequila cocktail and she was adamant that she didn't like tequila. And I said, trust me, I'll make you something that you're going to enjoy. And oh, she loved she, it. Oh, well, she's gorgeous as she looks. Yeah, she's it, beautiful. Yeah. yeah, and really sweet too. So Beckham, Diaz, Emda. Emda. Um, <laughs> J-Lo. J-Lo. Oh, really? Um, what did she order? What did she order? 
Oh, God, I don't remember. That was a while ago now. Um, oh. Beyonce right. and, and uh, Jay-Z used to come in quite a lot. Fantastic. As now, we wrap this up... What yeah. Are, yeah. Yep. So, yeah, so the thing is, with all good sangria, we need a bunch of fruit. Yep. So, for this spring, it's a kind of like a spring sangria, uh, so I like to use a whole bunch of green fruits. So we've got kiwi, some grapes, uh, some limes. We've got some apple. We're going to put in some sage. You could use okay. basil or anything. What I, what I do with my punches, I like to make them and then leave them for a, a while, right? Yeah, absolutely. All the fruit dissolves yep. through. So this fruit will like soak up all that, nice. all that goodness. And okay. just to keep it cold, yes. yep. I've made this little ice thingy. Just put in a bowl some water. Frozen strawberries. And the idea is you don't want the punch to get too diluted when people come around. So you put a big, a big uh, ice block in. Looks yep. pretty. You can even put some like rose petals in there or raspberries Beautiful. or nice. you know, anything you want. Okay, oh. thank you, Nara. That looks fantastic. What we're going to do, we're going to put the recipe on our website. Yeah, thanks for that. My pleasure. Thanks okay. for having me to Larry's Bar. <laughs> um, thanks for coming in. Good to see you. Just leave that for me, will you? A little later on this morning, the scientific research turning the fashion world upside down, similar to the effect that would have, and the town where scarecrows outnumber people. But first, are you finding that getting to sleep can be a real pain in the neck? Well, Glenn's got just the remedy for you. <laughs>